Welcome back to another episode of Uncle Vince Off The Grill. Today we're going to do some mustard rub baby back grills on the pit ball smoker. So stick around, we're going to show you how we do that. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to remove the membrane from the back of the rib. You're going to see it's like, um, it's like silver skin, it's real shiny. So they call that silver skin. So we're going to remove that from the rib in an attempt to make it a lot more tender. So. You can kind of take a butter knife. It's kind of difficult sometimes, but you have to get up on it and get it up and get it started. And then once you get it started, you can take a paper towel and grab it. And then you should be able to just pull it right off. And most of the times, it'll come off in one whole piece. And so, now you can see that's not as shiny as it was before it's um a lot more opaque and then here's the difference in the two see how shiny that is all right we're gonna get the rest of the silver skin off and then we're gonna start seasoning our ribs and get them out on the grill we got the smoker set at 250 degrees and we're gonna do what's called the three two one method but for me i call it the three two and whatever else we need to get it to the right temperature and we want to try to get these ribs up to around 200, 205 degrees before we take them off for our final cook. All right, stick around. We're gonna show you how. Right now, I'm gonna show you how we um season our ribs. We got um some French's mustard, this regular yellow mustard, and then we got a Monarch barbecue spice seasoning. And that barbecue spice seasoning got pretty much everything you need in it. If you season your ribs how you like to season them. But I prefer this season. It's got a little kick to it, a little sweet to it. And it's simple. You don't have to do a whole lot of different individual seasonings. So we're going to rub our ribs down and a little bit of mustard on both sides. And then we're going to add our seasoning to it. And then we're going to let the ribs sit for about 15, 20 minutes, maybe a half hour. And then we're going to put them out on the grill. And then we're going to do our 3 2 1 method. Make sure you get your ribs covered good. And this mustard really kind of acts as a binder. It don't really add a whole lot of flavor, but it will give it a little more color to it. And yeah, let's, let's season them up before we go. Let's get some of this barbecue seasoning on before we flip them over. I like to do the back side first so when I flip them over, it don't take it off the top side. And I like to season them up pretty good because a lot of this is going to cook off. So don't be afraid to season them up. And whenever you season it, any food, you want to make sure you know the salt content in it. So if you're using a bunch of different seasonings, you don't put um, something on there with too much salt. You just keep salt and salt. Then I'm going to just pat this in. I'm not going to rub it in. I'm going to just pat it. You don't want to rub it into the meat. Just pat it. That'll help it stick on just a little bit more. Then we're going to flip it over. We're going to do the other side exactly the same way we did the back side. A little bit of that mustard on there. You don't need a whole lot, you just want to cover it. Just, just rub that mustard in all over your meat. And once you get that mustard in, you want to just season the other side just like you did the back side. So what we're looking for right now. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to set this to the side while the grill coming up the temperature. And then we're just going to let it sweat. And I'll show you what I mean when I say let it sweat. This right here, this, this season should start to turn, you know, um, a darker color. Look at that right now. And I'm looking good already. Alright, you can see how the seasoning has started to absorb into the meat. That's exactly what we're looking for. It's been about 15 minutes. We probably had to go another 10 to 15 minutes and put it out on the grill and see what it do. Alright, alright. Ribs have been on the grill for about an hour. We're going to spritz them with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and a little bit of apple juice to um, keep them good and moist. 
I had ribs and been on the grill for about three hours. Now they have that nice mahogany color. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now we're going to wrap them in a heavy duty aluminum foil and put them back out on the grill for another two hours and then we'll check on them. And remember, we're looking for that temperature between 200 and 205 degrees. All right, guys, our ribs have been on the smoker for about three hours now. We're going to remove them from the grill, wrap them in some heavy duty aluminum foil. We're going to add some butter, some pure honey, and some dark brown sugar. All right, stick around. We're going to show you how to do that. All right, our ribs done been on the smoker for about three hours. Look, they got a little bit of wiggle to them. That's what you want to see. And you notice the bones are starting to pull away from the meat just a little bit. So now the first thing we're going to do is take that butter. We're going to drizzle this butter on that just like that right there. Just get that butter on it nice and good. Then after you do your butter, you want to add your honey to it. Just drizzle the honey on that just like you did that butter. Just get it all over the meat as best you can. Then you take your dark brown sugar and sprinkle your dark brown sugar on there. Just get it all over that meat. Don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. Just get it all over there. And that, that brown sugar, butter, and honey is going to make like a butter bath for them ribs. And you want to flip it over and do the other side. Get that butter all over there. Then I just rub it in a little bit. And you see the seasoning is staying on the meat. It's not rubbing off. That's a good indication you're ready for this process. Then drizzle that honey on there. Man, look at that. Then sprinkle that dark brown sugar on there just like we did the other side. Man, that's looking good right there. Then after you get that brown sugar drizzled on there, mm -mm -mm, that's looking good. Then flip it over before you wrap it, and that way that's going to sit in that butter bath for you. All right, now we're ready to wrap our ribs. Make sure you got enough aluminum foil to cover the entire rib completely. This is very important because you don't want any of the, um, the uh, steam to escape while they're cooking. You want to keep it all in there. Then I just roll my foil down like this. Make sure I get it good and tight. Then I fold my ends in. Kind of like making an old sandwich for your lunch. The way your mama used to do back in the day. There you go right there. That's ready to go back out on the smoker. Now we're going to get these other ones wrapped. And get that thing ready to go. You want it good and tight just like that. Alright, we're going to finish this last one up just like we did the first one. We got our butter, honey, and brown sugar on there. We're going to roll that foil down, get it good and tight, and then we're going to fold our ends over. And make sure you don't, your bones don't poke through your aluminum foil, because if it does, you'll lose the juice out the bottom of it. We're going to put them back out on the smoker for another two hours and see what they do. All right, our ribs have been on the smoker for about five hours. We're going to get a good temperature check. We're looking for 200 to 205. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, we got it at 207. I'm going to call that done. All right, remember the beginning of the video, we said we was going to do the 3-2-1 method. I call it the 3-2-whatever. Well, we at whatever right now after the five hours. We got a perfect temperature on these ribs right around 205 degrees. All right, guys, we got this rib plated up. We're going to just cut a little piece off here. I don't even know if I need this knife. I'm going to be about 100% certain I don't. Look at that. It just fell off the bone. Look at that. Look at that color in that rib right there. You see that smoke ring on there? That thing just is pink and tender as it won't be. Alright, I got me a little barbecue sauce on the side for a little dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's wonderful. Perfectly seasoned. The smoke is really good. But I'm gonna let you be the judge. You want a bite? Mmm. That thing, wow. That little cold beverage right here.
I can do this the rest of the night. Mmm. Boy, that thing is, ooh, look at that. Mmm. Boy, that's good.